Breaking news, a Commonwealth court judge decided that the deal between UPMC and Highmark cannot be extended. Patient advocates are concerned that once the consent decree ends, Highmark patients will have a harder time getting care from UPMC specialists. But UPMC has said that some care facilities will continue to provide Highmark patients care at in-network rates. And John Delano has been covering this case for weeks leading up to the judge's decision today. He joins us now in the studio tonight with the breaking developments and reaction. John. Well, you know, it's a big win for UPMC. Back in 2011, the Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield Insurance Company got into the medical services business by acquiring West Penn Allegheny Health Services. That decision to compete against UPMC led UPMC to declare that its doctors and medical facilities would no longer be available to Highmark insurance subscribers. It took years, but now it looks like that's about to happen. For years, the medical giant UPMC has tried to end its overall relationship with Highmark, and it's likely to happen June 30th, thanks to Commonwealth Court Judge Robert Simpson. We think it's the right decision. We, we are, this is what the parties agreed to five years ago. This is what we've been ta all talking about for five years. It, it does feel like there's a sense of finality. In 2014, UPMC, Highmark, and the Attorney General negotiated a five-year consent decree, allowing Highmark customers lower cost in-network medical services at UPMC until June 30th, 2019. But not after that. As the deadline approached, Attorney General Josh Shapiro and Highmark argued in court that the deadline could be extended because of a modification provision in the consent decree. On Friday, the judge said no to that. Quote, the modification provision was not intended to nullify the short, specific, unambiguous termination expiration provision in the preceding paragraph, as that provision was a core principle of the agreement, first addressed in the term sheets, and was expressly negotiated by the parties, unquote. Neither the Attorney General nor Highmark would appear on camera, but both issued statements. Quote, this ruling is not a defeat in preserving health care choice for consumers, but rather just a temporary setback, said Highmark. Noted the Attorney General, quote, make no mistake, our work here is not done. While we are disappointed in Judge Simpson's ruling, I won't quit on the people of Western Pennsylvania, and we will continue to take steps to restore fairness to the health care system and give people access to the institutions their tax dollars built, unquote. Now, Shapiro said he'd announce further legal actions next week. He could appeal Judge Simpson's ruling to the state Supreme Court, but that is considered unlikely. He is more likely to pursue other legal actions he has already filed against UPMC, charging the nonprofit with violating the public charities law by acting more like a for-profit corporation than a nonprofit one. Shapiro has also charged UPMC with violating the unfair trade practice and consumer protection law. But these cases won't have an immediate impact on Highmark customers. New at 6 will examine more of what that means for consumers. Megan?